What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a VPN on your iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus. So before I get into this guys, I'd appreciate you if you hit that like and share button below. And if you guys have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, I also want to mention you guys, I am using a really cool Donkey Kong wallpaper. If you guys are looking for a really slick wallpaper for your iPhone, head over to uh, Pinterest. They've got tons of stuff. Okay, anyways you guys, VPN uh, stands for Virtual Private Network and they do three things mainly. They help with uh, security issues if you want to access restricted websites, um, you know, based on your location and then the third and the biggest reason for me is I like to download like lots of movies and torrents and games and I don't want to get that uh, you know pretty much that illegal uh, you know security breach you know on my uh, phone or you know whatever when I'm downloading something so anyways you guys we've been recommending ExpressVPN I'm subscribed to it so I'm gonna leave a link in the description for it but uh, I'm literally paying eight dollars a month for this service you guys and for me uh, You know it works really well because I download lots of stuff um, The other things don't really matter to me But as far as like downloading things safely without getting any kind of like I'm doing things illegally uh, You know warnings. This is where you want to where you want to be right now So anyways, this is the number one VPN on the internet you guys I'm going to show you how to use it I do want to go to the app store too to show you guys uh, You know what it looks like but basically uh you know, once you guys subscribe to ExpressVPN, it's literally the click of a button. Uh, the really cool thing about this service is that it'll work across multiple, you know, devices or, you know, it'll work on a Windows uh, computer, uh, you know, a Mac, iPad, iPhone, and any kind of phone you guys. So, I mean, it's going to work across a wide variety of different devices. So, as soon as you guys subscribe to it, you're pretty much good to go. Um, but anyways, I'm going to log into it, show you guys how it works, and... Uh, you know, like I said, for me, literally, this thing is like a godsend. I mean, you know, I wasn't really using a VPN service until the beginning of this year. And, uh, you know, I figured I'd just share it with you guys because it is awesome. So as soon as you guys, you know, get ready to log into it, uh, literally, all you have to do is click allow. It's going to take you through a little security thing. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to ask to, uh, you know, turn it on. I'm just going to click on. So we're almost there. Okay, so now this is the screen you guys literally like I said once you guys get logged into ExpressVPN on their app It's the click of a button and you guys have a VPN set up. All right, so I'm just gonna click it Okay, so it takes just a few seconds normally for it to be on so you guys can see that it's on now one way that you know This VPN is on it's pretty easy on iPhones other things it's not so much but uh, you guys can see it's gonna say VPN I'm trying to hold it up to the camera it'll say VPN in the top left hand corner uh, right by whoever your provider is so anyways you guys that is one way to check the other thing you guys could do is go over to Google and then type in what is my IP we can do that real quick so you should see that you'll get a new IP address when you guys do this so you could just go here and type in what is my IP address um, you could do it you know this way and then you know you could log out of it so actually i'm just gonna log out and then we could check the ip to see what it pulls up next all right so the vp is off let's click on what is my ip again okay you guys can see it gave me a different ip address so this is working you guys so like i said um if you're looking for how to use a vpn uh, go with ExpressVPN. They're the number one service on the internet, you know, for VPNs, um, and they're what I'm subscribed to. Like I said, it's costing me like eight bucks a month, but I kind of keep mentioning that I'm almost looking at it like paying for like a Netflix service, you know, just because I'm, you know, I'm in need of this service quite a bit because I download lots of stuff. Uh, so anyways, you guys, I'll leave a link in the description for ExpressVPN. Definitely check it out, create an account. Please hit that like and share button. You guys, thanks for watching this one. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.